still not an angel. So we're going to take those from you guys. Let's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got. Is there a, a speaker from this group? That sure, I'll, I'll, I'll speak. It's a leadership thing, so I'll be a leader. You know. uh, <laughs> these are probably more thematic than they are practical, but um, just some highlights of our discussion. Obviously, this is a, a cross locality question, so we thought building relationships with the other locality involved early on, separate apart from the hot issue in question is critical, meaning communicate early and often and build those good relationships with the neighboring localities so that when something like this arises, you already have trust and, and, good, and, and goodwill with that locality. Um, within the issue itself, here, landfill and related traffic problems, uh, try to navigate with your partners in that locality to see if you can settle on a win-win resolution. Um, again, sort of a high-level conclusion, but I mean, you could think of any practical ways to do that. Um, and really, this goes back to the question of listening that we talked about separately in the other exercise, but really listening, listening to the other locality and the representatives and understanding more than just the fact that they're building this landfill, but what are the details? What, what, what are they really asking from your locality in a practical sense? What would the specific adverse traffic effect be? And really getting into the nitty gritty, gathering as much information as possible, looking for an opportunity to make a deal. Maybe there's something that your locality can gain as opposed to just simply giving something up. Um, and look in the problem for shared uh, common interests. And uh, a really good point from one of my cohort members, don't let that locality define their problem for you, but rather perhaps work with them cooperatively in a way that might result in you redefining their problem. Um, diplomacy and communication at all times, uh, good communication at all times, and um, rely on your staff for providing you baseline information, both from a legal policy and policy standpoint, because sometimes elected officials tend to look at things politically, but forget to involve staff and tell them what might or might not be possible um, with regard to whatever solution that politicians might put forward. Thank you. Yeah. Um, my impression, uh, all your points had a positive uh, perspective to it. You were looking positively um, to find solutions in, in each of those points that you mentioned. So thank you. Do we have a speaker in that group? <laughs> yeah, I, I think our, our discussion pretty much paralleled theirs in terms of finding what more important to find a delegation of people who have already have relationships with this county. The county's been here for a long time. There are already things going on and have been going on for some, you know, historically. 